nice to meet you again. So, is this your first time in Philly? Um, I was actually in Philadelphia years ago. Played mm -hmm. football here. Played soccer here. Okay. So that was a long time ago. So, I just asked John O'Carroll, can you eat a cheesesteak right now while you're in camp? Well, I tell you what, listen, don't go to the tourist trap spots. Oh, yeah. They say go to Geno's and Pat's, but Kevin Foreman was right. You get the best cheesesteaks from the hood spots. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I'm going to start here. What is your weight cap? Can you touch 147 one day? Um, I walk around and make 140 pounds. So mm. Okay, so let's talk about Rose. She finally, you know, took the fight. Eddie Hearn was, you know, um, were you surprised that she took the fight or? It was definitely a lot of back and forth with Eddie mm -hmm. Hearn. I remember Rose went out there over the last few months and I, I was absolutely delighted. I believe the fight was actually made in the end. But it's very hard for these girls to refuse the fight because they're getting offered more money than they yeah. ever would have really. So. I can't say I'm overly surprised, but I'm just delighted that the fight's had to be made and it's a very huge fight for me. So what I want to talk about is um, women's boxing as a whole. Um, I've noticed that, well, women's boxing is really getting more momentum than it was. And um, one thing that a lot of fans have been talking about is um, hopefully the women don't let fights marinate too long. Since even though women's boxing has been around for so long, it's like a new era, you know, in regards to um, staying active in the best fight and the best. So right now, if there's one fight you want to have, what is the fight that you feel is the super fight for Katie Taylor? Well, obviously, right now, the, my goal is to become the yeah. champion, but uh, like, the fight that everyone wants to see is we said on the man's mm -hmm. I think that's probably the biggest fight we're just boxing right now. And if I do become the champion, maybe the fight is to see the Rappers, and other people that will be huge as well. So there's so many big, big fights out there for me. And, I, I want to fight the ball, I want to be in it, be in it as well for those big, big fights. And, um, but I guess the, the one that everyone's really talking about is being in the Atlanta Surround. Mm. So right now we're at a situation where boxing is being televised at, you know, the most has ever been televised. For example, even Hannah Gabriel's fight is available on Facebook. So I, I guess what I'm asking is this, what do you feel needs to be done to help women's boxing get further. A lot of fans I've noticed over the last, your last several fights in my comment section of my videos, they've been saying like, man, she needs three minute rounds. Like, why does it, you know, the two minutes? Does that bother you, you know, in regards to, you know, um, not having the same rules as men? Yeah, I wouldn't say it bothers me too much, but uh, I think whether it's a two minute round or a three minute round, it's, mm -hmm. the, the, the outcome of the fight is going to be the same. But they probably will be involved in a lot, a lot more knockouts and treatment around if that's the thing. But mm -hmm. um, I guess for women's boxing, it, it is just so important for the for the best to fight the best for these big fights yeah. actually happen. And I, I'm very lucky that I have this platform with the zone where uh, mm -hmm. I, I have a chance to uh, showcase my skills and these big. Platforms. Yeah, every one of your fights has been televised. Yeah, exactly. yeah the first, yeah, from the first one. That's exactly yeah. what women's mm -hmm. boxing is. And, I think the women's boxing is on a high right now, but it's the first time in a long time people are actually seeing the best of women's boxing. But uh, the best have to start finding the best as well, and I think that that's really, really important for the sport. It's not about two minute rounds or three minute rounds, it's just that the big fights need, need to start happening. Yeah. Okay, so is the Rose, um, well, not Rose Volante, but the Amanda Serrano fight. Now, let's say, you know, I know you have to focus on Rose, yeah. but has there been some preliminary discussions of it happening? this year if both of you continue to win? It's not a 2020 thing? It's no, not going to marinate too long? I think so. I think uh, Eddie's had all along with the draft fight to happen at the end of this year sometime. So, um, so I think it will, it will happen this year, uh, which is really, really exciting for myself and Amanda Serrano for the sport uh, itself. Okay. That's, that's the kind of fight that I can set out stadiums. I think it, it's the kind of fight that can actually headline a big show as well. So that fight has to happen this year. Okay. All right. Good luck. I know you have some um, other media obligations. It was nice meeting you again. I will be there on um, fight night. Thank you. Thank you. Katie Taylor.